Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Rank. I'm your host, Mr. Upwards Looker Lover. But Republican officials uh, removed forever. For several months, our prisons have held thousands of Republican officials following the capture of Vladivostok and the collapse of the Republican army. We decided to finally initiate trials against these uh, F-word prisoners. And a quick swept the court and declared a big majority of them guilty and sentenced them to death. Surely afterwards, firing lines would be set in almost in most prisons. Mass graves would be dug for the corpses, and soldiers would begin to practice for their task. It would be simple. The rifleman would shoot the sentence, while a commissar would give a coup de grace with his pistol to make sure no one was left alive. And so it started. Generals, officers, bureaucrats, mayors, governors, and all kinds of Republican government officials were disposed of in a quick, systematic manner. The removals almost took a week. Many prisons w went from bursting with prisoners to being almost completely empty. The mass uh, ditches were full by the last ex uh, removals, and they were rapidly covered. No mercy for the enemies of the Union. But now we have to decide, do we expel TA citizens from the Far East? Or do we expel the non-Orthodox churches? We get refugees from America. I don't know. Do we want, would we prefer having some TA citizens here? Or would we prefer having minority churches? And honestly, with Zukov, I'm not entirely sure. I think we might go with more this route. Because we don't like capitalists, do we? Do we get along with minorities, though? Hmm. I don't want to do this one, though. Because I don't want to hurt ourselves with the consumer goods for a year. Refugees from Russia. We could still play off the whole... Can we still play off the whole, like, Oh, no, we're still very weak, and the t uh, Toronto Accords will give us a lot of stuff here. They'll totally give us a lot of, uh, equipment. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We did go Red Army Orthodox Chaplains. That doesn't make sense. Inspiration from God as well. There can only be one church in our place, so expelling non-Orthodox churches. The foreign churches in our nation, including Catholics, Lutherans, and so on, are all unjust impositions upon by hostile and occupational powers, be they American, German, or any other. These impositions are not the work of hundreds of years, but the work of a decade, and we shall force them out of our native lands before they can imperialize us in other ways. And prepare for the final patriotic war. The time is coming for us to stand now and forever against the F horde within, which invaded a country so many years ago. This would direct millions to a reign of terror unseen in history, raping, killing, and even pillaging thousands of Soviet villages, enslaving millions to feed their unquenchable thirst for warm blood. We must prepare to destroy these barbarians, liberate our motherland, and restore peace to the world, which was. Oh, we remove Republican insurgency, which would be good. We can actually attack and defense bonuses against uh, the three Reichs. Not bad. And the Soviet power now and forevermore. Tour Germany, liberty from F word oppression. Well, I mean, I'd like to do that. We're going to need quite a few more soldiers, though. And even then, division for division, their divisions are actually not too bad compared to ours. But, of course, we do have another tank division now, which does help out. So we can hopefully make some uh, <clears throat> encirclements, as some might say. Ooh, that's not terrible. Of course, that one is ours. This one, oh my goodness. They are thick. You know what? I think I like them thick, too. So we're going to go with 27 combo with... I think this is a template that's usable. I could be wrong, but this does give us a quite a bit more ability to defend. So, that's quite a bit more expensive, but I don't really care. It's fine. It'll be fine. Totally fine. Contacting those under the, the jackboot. Nuclear concern. Preparing the home front. Yeah. Oh, yeah. While we prepare for total war against the F-word enemy, we must be sure not to neglect the state of things at home. Well, we must be entering into a life-or-death conflict, and we must ensure that we are properly prepared for it before we begin. We are reaching to the end of an end, or the end of an era of darkness, and as we prepare to close the doors, we must make sure that we have the keys. That's a good idea. Eh, it's almost 1960. Grab that. Make sure we have at least three now on military factories. That is, at minimum, what we need. We're still building some roads. We're still building some refineries. Good stuff. But now we're out of artillery and many battle tanks. Yeah, we need way more artillery. Holy crud. Go with that. Go with... Uh, we're kind of okay for that stuff. Yeah. Go with ten more. Because we don't need more. We're going to need a lot more. Uh, return capital to Moscow. That's all right. And home front. Death of Mussolini. Goodbye. Contacting those under the jackboot. When the fascists invaded and occupied our nation, our people did not give up. In Belarusia, Smolensk, and Ukraine, the spirit of the Soviet Union lives on as men fight to the death in the name of the liberation in the Soviet Union. We must reestablish uh, and make contact with Ponomarenko and his comrades, for they will be necessary in the liberation of our motherland from the Germans. 
Those dastardly, dastardly Germans. Actually, that's looking quite a bit better. Holy crap. That's, we're making a lot of artillery every day, I hope. Anything else, guys, look off? No? That's okay. Because you guys should be doing pretty darn decent. That's not enough defense, and that's not enough soft attack. Piercing, though, is okay. It's not great. It's definitely okay. Oh, we do own perm. Oh, more construction speed. Oh, that's not bad either. Resource efficiency gain is okay. Shipping, resource, uh, 10 and 50% oil, 5%. Uh, Soviet Railways, that's pretty nice. Supply Hubs, Railways. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll we'll go that one, why not? Uh, I don't want any debuffs. If I can minimize the debuffs, okay, everything's going to give us a debuff. If we're going to get more production costs, so be it. That's the one that's worth doing then. Let's see. Die, Lee, Seize Power. Alright then. Intense Rationing. Oh boy. How the Church Condemned Germany. Tour the Exiles as an alternative. B building fallout shelters in Kisei. Ooh. Infiltrate German nuclear systems. Scion takes power. Okay. Address the nuclear concerns. As we prepare for the liberation of the motherland's west from the fascist horde, we must take into our mind their position of nuclear weapons. A uh, weapon to end all weapons. We have seen its use in Japan by the Americans and know the damage it can cause. This is a very real and dangerous threat. And one we must speak with members of our government and military about. Absolutely. And happy... 1960, everybody. Definitely. This mod is so much smoother than TNO, which no, I don't want to knock TNO too much, but my god. TNO can lag hard sometimes. Like, oh my god, why do you hurt me so much? The reestablishment of the Tchitschitschpide. The day no long awaited. Uh, and widely appreciated move the central HQ of the partisan movement has been reestablished in order to coordinate Russian patriots bravely fighting behind enemy lines of future conflicts to prevent unnecessary losses of these national heroes so far as we can help it. Almost immediately after the creation of this HQ, orders for branches to be established were sent all along the western frontier, as is speculated in many corners. This move is in truth the preparation for the increasingly likely scenario of another conflict with Germany, and to once and for all put an end to the menace of Russian Russians. And this upcoming bloodshed, a well coordinated and better supply of partisan movement. Sabotage your enemy at every turn will be nothing short of vital to their war effort. Liberations all the way. Wow, that's a lot more organization. That's awesome. The secret of the atom unveiled. Uh, begin assisting slave revolts. <coughs> Germany's slaves number the millions. Millions of sold tied to the German yoke with the hope of escaping and work to their deaths. These slaves no doubt have new real love for the fascist aggressors. And greatly desire to overthrow them, but without sufficient support, they will have no will to do so themselves, forever cowering in fear until they're whipped to their deaths. In the word of the comrade Vladimir Ilovich, sometimes history needs push. Oh, no boy, are we going to push him. We are going to push, push, push. Ooh, artillery looking even worse now, but <coughs> I think it's only just because we made more divisions. And actually, we're looking not terrible now. Um, supplies looks... Well, actually, the supplies look, look too bad. Parts of this front could be a little better, though. Where are we? Can I have a supply point here? Well, the Committee on Nuclear Warfare, in the modern age, a titanically destructive weapon known as the nuclear bombs are a threat not only to us and our people, but to all of mankind to attempt uh, the, uh, to avert the dangerous threat. At least in the context of its use on us, the Committee on Nuclear Warfare has been established in order to discuss all matters related to the man namesake, and then advise us on the proper course of action to reduce and prevent the danger so far as is possible without endangering the national interest, which includes advice on development of our own, own nuclear program for purposes of deterrence. This committee will be made up of nuclear experts and Air Force professionals, selected as impartially as we can ensure, so that the future of the Soviet peoples will be kept safe from this very modern threat. What is this to be done? Infiltrate German nuclear facilities. One cannot deny the serious threat shown by German capability of attacking us with nuclear weapons. However, that is not to say that we cannot do something about it. In fact, it is quite the opposite. We must infiltrate the nuclear facilities of the fascist enemy and conduct industrial sabotage of the highest caliber. Our nation's very survival depends on it. Perhaps we could even take away some inspiration for a nuclear program of our own. Now, that's what we like thinking about. Take what we can from the enemies and deny them everything. Might as well do that one. We're running out of things here to build. So, overall, not bad. Negative 330 while we're still building even more divisions. Nice. Better ma main battle tanks? Nice. Trains looking nice. What's not looking good? We have no army XP. Because I'm going to spend it on this. As much as I want to do this one, because, oh, minus 20% supply consumption would be extremely nice. But, I guess we do have these divisions, which are okay, but still. Um. Let's see. 
there, that's fine. Um, Polish SSR concept. It's defeated Germany will have one. Promise of Polish freedom. Revolutionary communism. I mean, you want to do that? Please go ahead. I think it's better. The Polish SSR concept. There's an ugly person in every family, and for the Slavs, it's the Poles. Perhaps the most well known for their strategy, or strange ortho orthography, and occupation by the Germans. One cannot deny that Poland is a nation of Slavs, much like any of our Soviet socialist republics, and is a common past in the oppression by the Romanovs, our nations, and united by a shared history and workers' brothers are meant to be united. And there was a common saying we should go with this route, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't want more revolution and communism. We'll prefer Marxism and Leninism, so Poland will be free eventually. Not any day soon, but eventually. I just hope we can defend against the enemy invasions on the coast, but the secret of the Adam unveiled. With the capture of key German nuclear facilities, many of their designs which came into our hands. And without hesitation, we put our best experts to work deciphering some of them for our own use. While it's alarming that their nuclear technology is even more advanced than we previously thought, our military experts have assured us that by the time they can put such investments into practice, we'll have deterrence in the form of nuclear weapons for our own. These designs, along with the nuclear resources captured with them, will be immensely useful for the advancement of our own nuclear program and the development of our own nuclear bomb. This is a huge step forward, not only for the Soviet science and Soviet national security, but for all the Soviet people as a whole. There's no stopping us now, and then building fallout shelters in the key cities. In anticipation of the use of nuclear weapons by the fascist enemy, we must ensure that we are completely prepared and work to protect as many people as possible. To this end, we will work to construct fallout shelters in, majority, in major cities, including Perm, Olyanovsk, Ulyanovsk, Sverdlovsk and others which lie within reach of German bombers which are armed with nuclear weapons. The brutes will have no chance to disintegrate thousands of souls in an instant. No. The gearing focus is gone. That's fine. We'll do that too. Well, we do should probably get some better engineers, but whatever. And some better anti-air because, well, we're going to need it. And now we're out. God dang it. Hey, another tank. Nice. Very nice, actually. Keep making those. Oh, we're out of millies. No, we're not. Um, 1960s. Better tanks. There you go. People of Europe stand and fight. Oh, well, that's not bad. Let's do this one first. Prepare for intense rationing. With so many soldiers in a great red army, we will need to ensure that they have enough food. We must also take into account logistics, scorcher tactics by the Germans, and the millions they likely starved behind enemy lines. Therefore, it is necessary to make a note of the people that rationing will soon begin and make it ready for when it comes. By the will of the Rus, you will be saved. You get defense against them. I think, honestly, for us, people of Europe stand a fight. By the will of the Rus, I, as much as I want to do this one. Um, brotherhood, Brother Nation. Eh, I think this one would be good to do. We'll see, though. Yeah, I think Zukov will be pretty pissed off and wanted to kill all the Germans as much and as fast as possible, so. Do the exiles as an alternative. How the church condemn Germany? Let's go with that one. That seems very churchy right now. But prepare for rationing. The faithful of our motherland, both free and oppressed, are very trusting of the Orthodox Church. Many are already willing to fight and die for the glorious motherland, but many are more on the fence or on the side of the fascist enemy. In order to truly unite the faithful against our government. Uh, uh. <clears throat> And right out the imposters from the true believers, and as best we discuss with the church leadership, a clear denunciation of the German horde. Sounds like a good idea. And there's supply issues down here. Maybe down here, potentially. Ooh, they're having supply issues as well. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad we made you guys a little thicker. We're just really out of anti air. It's really bad. Oh, we need. Oh, quite a bit more tungsten, don't we now? Not bad. Go to says a little more. We almost have a hundred divisions on the border, which is nice. Hmm, trains are fine. Don't have a lot of them, but that's okay. You know, by two maybe. Now I think Zuko would just probably want to kill them off, so as you want to do this, please go ahead, but yeah. I think I prefer this. And the days are coming where we will be engaged in full combat against a fascist enemy. And in those times, there will be no such thing as neutrality. You either side with the German horde, the rapists and murderers, or with the forces of liberation. We're engaged in a struggle to free not only ourselves, but all the peoples of Europe who are crushed under the jackboot of fascism. Rise, Europe, and fight the fascist invaders. Because we get more attack. It makes more sense for us to get more attack. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong. Hmm. <clears throat> there you go. That's pretty good. Oh, there. 
More description is nice. Can we get any better anti air? Yes, we can. Keep making, keep making, keep making. We're on three, which is not bad. We're gonna need more, though. We're gonna need planes in general. We just don't have enough planes of anything. Their land, their people, their blood. The town's comforts to bring liberation our western reaches under the control of the fascist invaders, the killers, the rapists, and looters who have terrorized their lands should not get much stand much longer. For the march of their army will bring about an end to the destruction. Onwards, comments for our families are behind the enemy lines, death of fascism, freedom to the peoples. And just in case, let's double check here. Because I do want them to grind under the lines, but I'm not sure how successfully we can do that, so. And I guess we can't even tell here either, huh? Kinda sucks. Should do okay. I should do okay. Just worry about getting navally invaded though, because you know the enemy. They're definitely gonna navally invade us in the end. And that's never fun. Maybe we made a couple more divisions, maybe. Fifteen weeks, two days, two, two weeks I mean. German Reich does not exist, so we'll see what happens. And of course, the new Soviet power now and forever. The might of Marx and Lenin has not yet been extinguished from this great world. We have overcome the fascist invader and the march to Lukas to lead our nation to an age of reconstruction and greatness. We celebrate overcoming to the fascist leader eventually and the invader, the German menace for its event, which has changed the course of history forever. The red sun shines happily upon us, where we've liberated the world from barbarism. Slesia Otechevstvo, Nasha Svodbonia, Nea, Drubze Narodov Nazionozi Otplot. Zinyama Sovietskoi Zinyame Narodnoi Putot Pote Ke Pod Bede Veryot. Bedyot. I speak perfect Russian, as you can tell. Absolutely flawless. No issue Russian here. And go and stop training for now, because my god, we're gonna need a lot of organization where we are headed. For now, even though these guys are pretty thick, I might actually yeah, you know what, leave them the same combo for now. Just because we're gonna need people to garrison the area around here. Ta da! That's it. So, the goal is to go here, here, here. I want to make really small circles to begin with, so we'll see. I hope these guys are really dug in, though. Entrenchment is what? Seven? Not enough. Let's go with you there. Shinkai Shek assassinated. Oh boy. Condolences. Yeah, we got like no anti air. Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of divisions. Oh, they immediately begin attacking, huh? But if they immediately begin losing, I'm fine with that. Oh, did we lose a battle here already? Holy crap. Good ammo is good. Jesus Christ, they're attacking like- They're doing force attack too? Holy crap. We've killed all 43,000 of them. I mean, casualties don't really matter too much because the enemies have quite a bit, few numbers. But still. At this point, can we just do a general, general thing here? Nice, that's exactly what we wanted. We're looking not too bad, actually. A lot better than I thought we would be. That's why I made 27 combo with, because you just never know. Oh, we're fighting Goring. Oh, God. This is good to see. Oh, we actually lost it. That's not good. That's actually a really bad thing to see, huh? No, sir. Please don't attack us. Rook? I don't know about if Rook is a real good name for us. Well, they're pushing up there. They've already lost 133,000. Not bad. Considering everything else. Yeah, 27 combat is not bad. That's one of the few combats that I remember that's actually not too shabby. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Well, there are 220, almost quarter million already. Our detection's not bad. Uh, yeah, we must do that one. Why not? You can do both if you really want to. Uh, we're good. Yeah, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. And we got more attack, right? Free social state. Look at the attack bonus 20%. Oh my god. I mean, we're going to lose a towel here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Is that, yeah. Bur a Burgundian Lebenstadt Edofella. Not a bad division, but. They ain't doing so hot against us. 
This is not bad. I like this one. Last time I think I did this, oh, I struggled quite a bit. Done attacking, they've already lost sort of a million. I kind of want to do it. Wow, you know, if they want to do that and just kind of death stack here. I'm kind of okay with that. Hmm, they are attacking the logistics around itself. That's not good. Man of training, let's find do that too. Tatiana, yeah, okay, we'll go with that guy. He has actually win here. Wow. Pretty much immediately. Nice. Alright, boys. Let's see what we can do right there. And then right there. And then right there. It won't be much of an unsuccessful, but it'll be an unsuccessful regardless. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your contribution to the war effort. And you're dead. And come on. Hey, there's six divisions here. Nice. Oh, so good. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys are little crazies. Ooh, fourth tank division. Nice. Well, they've lost half a million already. Are they completely out of equipment or something? Like, these are, yeah, German soldiers. I don't, I don't understand. Whee! Go ahead. We don't. We definitely don't have air superiority here. Like that's for a fact. That's for a fact, you hungry jack. Another two divisions go bye bye. I mean, yeah, why not? Beautiful. There you go. Volga bug, huh? If they want to keep attacking me, I am a okay with that. To get some more land auction going, totally fine. Especially if they want to force the attack. More organization, twenty percent less supply consumption, and more reinforcement. That is just ridiculously strong. Jesus Christ. Supply's pretty bad around here, so let's not do that too long. Oh, right there. Six hundred thousand losses. Not bad. There we go. Ah, ha! We got you. Etil. Nice. There you go. Beautiful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can we just do a general attack now? We actually might be able to. I'm just gonna dangle this. Three, two. I'll try anyways. We do get twenty percent more attack. So force it. Wounded. Oh, we'll be getting a crap ton of army XP. Okay, maybe not so much a crap ton, but quite a bit. Oh, they're doing force defense. Oh God. Oh, I love it. Hundred eight thousand losses over a million losses. This is. Why is this so easy? Why is Goring so weak? This should be way more difficult. I mean, we're not going to win everywhere, obviously, but still. Holy crap. This is really inefficient and stuff like that, but it doesn't have any severe penalties yet. 
They're out of main battle tanks already. Are they out of... How are they out of guns? Do they have a lot of resistance? They must have a lot of resistance here. Hold on. Uh, before we actually, like... Yeah, no, 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 no resistance. Why are you so sucky? Heroes Day. Start Shadow Divisions kind of sucks for them, actually. Less Division Organization is actually really bad. Quite bad, actually. That's not bad. Panzer Army is pretty good. That's okay. That's that's not bad. Reform or Command. Traditional Warfare is not bad either. Germanic Traditions is okay. It's not bad. All right. Trust System. Reform Labor Death Camps. I love that one. Cold Personality. It doesn't look like it gets too many buffs to divisions, which does kind of suck for them, but... Um, oversized... Yeah, I don't know. Overgrown Officer is bad for them as well. He sells minus 10% vision organization, but that's still not, like, an extreme hindrance. So, I'm not really sure why he's sucking so bad, but you know what? Can't really complain too much, now can I? No, of course I can. Of course we can. Why not? Ukraine? Why not? Who dares wins? Over here. Uh, supply's pretty bad. I'm gonna move you up north further for now. Because it's pretty bad. For supply, uh, not bad. Over a million Germans themselves are dead. Pretty good. Logistics, this is looking pretty good. 18 common width. With a lot of hardness. I love it. Love being hard. Uh, anything over here? Signal companies? I kind of want Mordor's Recon just to get even more soft attack, but it's only 26 more. We don't need field hospitals. You know what? Go initiative. Screw it. Oh, never mind. That costs way too much motorized. Uh, recon? Yeah, I just go straight Recon. It's fine. It's good enough for me. Probably it's good enough for you all as well. Uh, Georgia, let's not do that one yet. You can be liberated. Walk in the capital. No one was on the streets of Moscow on the civilian side of the battle subsided. And the last, and after artillery shells stopped pelting the city from the sky, forcing the last remnants of perm government supporters to panic or lose their lives, or simply seize the first opportunity, cowardly, of course, opportunity, and far, uh, fled as far as a few could run, the Red Army. And Marshal Zhukov marched victoriously into P Moscow flags and bursts that marked the final fall of the perm government, and let, and let Zhukov towards the unification of the old Soviet Union by another step. Not wanting to go to the Kremlin immediately. Zhukov felt a rush of melancholy and nostalgia for a city he had not been to for a long time. He finally got a chance to see and breathe the air of the city whose appearance he could not forget to head out of the city. Heading towards Loisini Ostrov Park located northeast of the Kremlin. Arriving at the park alone and looking towards the river, he thought about everything that had happened to him so far. Acting or starting from the moment they arrived in Krasnoyarsk to the struggle for power. Action against the two Vin rebels, the capture of Alkosovsky, and who knows what else. It was a foggy morning, Zukov thought to himself, looking towards the river, which was extremely calm without waves, without anything that would disturb its current flow. And then I didn't even get to say goodbye to you. I thought I re it really would be. He continued referring to Moscow itself as part of the heart and mind that he almost lost. <clears throat> This time I promise you I will not let anyone else destroy you, Zukov said aloud, not moving from his seat but listening to the silence of the forest that was stunning to hear. Well, stunning to hear, not stunning, but stunning. You look like a hurricane that's, ab like a hurricane that's abandoned. Oh, we immediately just take Moscow as a capital. Oh. The old capital of the Soviet Union, Moscow, has been liberated. Though it lies in ruins, a show of its former self, we must return the capital to Moscow officially to show that the once fractured nation is no more. Well, I guess we don't technically own Moscow, but we own Moscow. Demand Karelia? Oh, yes, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice, too. Good, good, good. Oh, we actually have convoys. That sucks. Are we trading? Oh, look at that. Nope. Um, okay. Well, we need more battle tanks, so... Don't be trading away, guys. That's a waste of lives. Yeah, this is ridiculously easy. Oh, why is it so easy? I mean, get it? Yeah, they grind up against us, which I do love the grinding. Don't get me wrong. But and I was even when we were even prepared this time. I was prepared. We were prepared. Uh, what the heck is that? I don't read about that. Please go right ahead. Uh, please don't attack us while we're at war right now. Ooh, more organization and breakthrough for leg infantry? Yes, please. 
Uh, so how many divisions we got left? 101. Just a, we have more divisions in Germany proper. Nice. There goes the Caucasus. Very good, very good, very good. Keep going on in. Now, there's only four divisions here. Could you get Armenia? I know it's tanks and mountains, which you should never really do, but, you know, sometimes we're feeling a little frisky here. Can you catch me? A little bit of that frisk nation. Ah, the Crimea, my friends. I mean, yeah, yes. Bottom land? Yes, please. Um, helicopters? Helicopter, helicopter. Oh, crap. We need way more motorized now. Man, this, this is pretty costly in terms of attack, is it not? Expert delegator? Oh, I guess we could have. We really wanted to. It doesn't really matter too much, though. But at this point, like, what else do they have? Oh, I guess we... Oh, well. Good to man, Crelly, I guess. Don't think it really matters too much, since... Oh, we're doing really well. I'm taking out Armenia. We get more guns, too, so... How many divisions I got left? 78. My gosh. Force the attack, maybe? Maybe not? There's no... Struggle over here and there, but that's alright. Uh, another comment was saying that when we go to war with Germany, we should play the Russian theme from the Call, Call of Duty uh, World at War when we invade the country. Well, I would love to, but that requires a ton of extra... Well, not maybe a ton, but it requires quite a bit of work that I don't... I, at the time, I don't have time for. I literally do not have time to do something like that. As much as I'd love to, that sounds awesome. I just don't have the time to. Like... I'm running out of time every single day. Like, oh my gosh. I sometimes get down to like maybe a video a day just because I run out of time. It's really bad. I apologize, but yeah. Oh, we lost tank division. We lost two tank divisions. Well, that's why we don't do that. My bad. Oh, well, these guys can do better, but apparently I was wrong. Um. Oh, we're out of stuff? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, you guys want to support us? Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you, come again. How many do we lose? 100,000? That's fine. Oh, we're fighting in Romania. Oh, yeah, we forgot for the German puppets as well. Yeah, they're not looking good. They're kind of like some of our divisions. Not looking too good. Spanish German friendship? Oh, well. Whatever. They've only lost 3,000 against our tanks. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. That's extremely stupid. Well, there goes that beer impact. Well, quite literally, already, almost in the Germany, Germany proper. Why don't you cancel on these guys? Plenty of guns, which is nice, but still. Oh, he's, well, you know it's weird when the Armenian Armenians put up a much bigger fight than the actual German Reich. Here goes Ukraine. Got more equipment from them. Nice. Don't break through an organization. Should have probably waited for that stuff, but whatever. Biological stuff, less ability, so be it. Whatever. you have over here. Matrix is fine. More attack is fine. Man, this is a massive front. Oh, okay, nice. Romania's gone. Couple more tanks, couple more guns. Out of the stockpile for now. The Balkans are going to fall pretty hard, it looks like. Mediterranean pack looks pretty thick. Wow. Oh, it's kind of cool. Arab Federal Republics? Oh. Ah, uh, finally. We didn't deserve life. Nice. Kill them off. 
We'll do that, these guys as well. You'll be fine. Keep it up. Oh, that's not good. Deep, hard, and fast. We're already in Germany proper. Parted compliance, it's fine. For now, they still have 19. Right there. Huh. Nice. Germany itself should not be able to stand it much longer at all, right? Right? They have up to 52 divisions max. They've got another Rikes coming. Sorry. Oh, there goes Finland too, which is great. Um. Gotta deal with those guys over here too. It's fine. Just got, just a lot of cleaning up. That's all it is. Just a lot of cleaning up. Over here it kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, they can't even defend their own borders at this point anymore, so. I want that big old red top or white top, whatever we call it. The division should be able to take it. No, take it. That's good, right? Batumi? Batumi! Batumi! Speak to me, Batumi! Batumi! There goes Slovaks! Goodbye! Yeah, I think the Spanish is doing the wrong side of the war here. Oh! We got it, the big building! The biggie! Yay! Oh, it's, oh, Austin's coming back, that's right. So once, once we're done down south with Georgia... Just go in, bros. Just, there you go. Got some pans of Pausts. And see you guys over here, too. Works with me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're starving. Everyone's starving up there anyways. It doesn't really matter. Ah, beautiful. Where's the capital? Nonsense is down over there. Vienna? Oh, we have Vienna as well. Ah. There's this. I, mean, I could be complaining so much more. But we're doing so well. It's not even funny. Like, it's ridiculously easy. Compared to what I've done before. 4.65 million, huh? Montenegro, thank you. Great. Help them out. Capital is Brussels, eh? Croatia, thank you for the equipment, because we desperately need it right now. Oh, never mind, except for anti-tank and guns. Holy crap, we're doing really well on that stuff, aren't we? <laughs> the town's supposed to be like, we should have went to war Germany now, too. We didn't even get nuked yet. Then again, they'd be nuking their own... Oh, hello. That's not a bad place to do that, but at the same time, like... Now they're completely cut off, and they're going to die regardless. So that's actually not a bad idea for them to do that. Keep going. Oh, they will literally die there. Good, good, good. Oh, you can't leave, son. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. Only three divisions, actually. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. It's fine, I don't really care at this point. Doesn't matter. Got a lot of cast. And we won! Danish state. Sure, Muscovine? Sure. Spanish state? Uh... Okay. Romania? Burgund? Yes, yes. Oslin? Caucasus? Croatia? So how do we liberate uh, Poland? Oh, uh, we need to liberate now. We're good. Now it's a red Europe. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Beautiful, my friends. Alright, so what do we have here? Uh, we're into the Moscow area. Caucasus. Oslin, of course. Ukraine. Oh, okay. Nesyard. Oh. 
Oh, crap. The destruction of the Reich. We have succeeded. Millions of men have gotten, given their lives. Europe has been thrown into a third world war, but we have triumphed. The Reich is destroyed. Now, who shall we send like, to the leader lands? Pavel Bata will hand over the reins to the NK KPD eventually. The British of Poland. That army is taking Poland. We are in a position to establish a new Polish government to liberate. Um, Polish SSR. Uh, liberate Belgium. Well, they're supposed to be under us, right? We can make it a red turn. Well, I do want to have a Polish SSR, but still. You know, I'll make puppets. It's fine. Luxembourg. Luxembourg to SSR. Netherlands. Yeah. United Spain. Spanish SSR. Alright. Forces way into the Alps and occupied Switzerland, which we do. Fate of Austria. The Roman sends victorious of the Reich, which we maintain military occupation. I want to give it to Germany, though. Fate of German France. Germany annexed a swath of territory from France at the end of the Second World War. Now that we defeat Germany, what's that? What to do with it? Alsacian Republic? I ain't going to give them. Why would I give them French territory? They don't deserve it. Yugoslavia. We liberated Serbia. Now it's sad. Should you lay the groundwork for the formation of Yugoslavia or simply liberate Serbia? Society's boundaries later. All its claim land. Serbian SSR would be nice. Slovenia, transfer lands to Yugoslavia. Yeah, do that one. Same thing with this one, too. Uh, Macedonia, liberate them. Transfer lands to Yugoslavia. Yeah. Uh, Czech, Czechia, Czech Republic. Slovakia, Denmark, Norway, Bulgaria. We defeated a place under control. Bulgarian colonies are waiting to take control and bring socialism to Bulgaria. Should we govern? Finland? Yeah, they get to. Nice. The Romanian past from defeat and the Romanians don't come into occupation. Take Ukrainian lands. And split them. Alright. Well, we did go with the Polish SSR route, but we didn't get Polish SSR. Unification of these guys. The Czech Republic annexes the Slovak Republic. Alright. Oh crap, we need way more political power now. That's not good. Oh, it's a French commune. Wait, what? Wait, what? Guy Mollet. Assassination attempt on Zukov. Um, well, I didn't know they'd end up Democratic Socialists, but whatever. Uh, Perot. Issue <sighs> Thrace. Um, they're not with us, so I'll give it to Bulgaria. And we're going to give something to Bulgaria. I'll take what's in the boy from Bulgaria. The Brugia. Romania, but the Brugia. I kind of want a bigger Ro Bulgaria than Romania, so. Greetings, friends and comrades. Though it was not my intention to be here at such an early hour of the morning, and I have my doubts that it was yours, comrade Ivan Nikolaevich, insisted that I be present to congratulate you for your participation in the finest hour. Not simply that of the Un Soviet Union, but all the peoples of the world. I'm speaking, of course, of the liberation of Europe from the fascist enemy. The siege by Marshal Zukov to a unit of soldiers was formal and congratulatory. Though at times rattling went on for about half an hour before without much fuss, then suddenly, and of the troops' horror, the shots began to ring out. The three red armed soldiers were killed, and Marshal Zukov was shot, fortunately but not seriously. And then, ensuing chaos, a scuffle broke out with the red army soldiers preventing the would be killer's escape. He was beaten to death, and though his identity remains a mystery, Rob was certainly of his friends, and a so called werewolf insurgent seeking to revive Nazism, thankfully. However, dear Marshal and Premier survived, Carmen Zukov should live to fight on until he done. A catastrophe avoided. Oh, we have even more after this. They have aired for the last time. The fascists have crossed many bridges, too many bridges in the far in their time, but now we're in control of Germany and we have the full power to eliminate this threat, not only to the leadership of our nation, but to peace in Europe. God, this is disgusting. Why do we own this? Yugoslavia, Ser uh, Serbia. Honestly, it looks better if it's just with Bulgaria. Why, what about Kal Kalava? Nothing about returning some crap. Well, that sucks. Well, Democratic Republic of Finland, how's that looking? Alright. Have you guys as well? Sweden's here, Danish Civil Union, Hans Kuck, Soviet Military Administration, Batov is here, of course. Zukovism, nice, no unique focus tree, of course. Czechs, led by this guy. Hungarians are surrounded by a sea of red. Uh, Georgi Gregorije is over here as well. Bulgaria, led by Ivan Gorunia. Yugoslavia, or whatever it is, led by Alexander Rankovich. Austria is led by Johan Koplenig. And this whole French 
Communist Territories are by Jacques Duclos. Belgium's are by Edgar Lamond. And this guy's are by Groot! Paul de Groot, but Groot. 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 Execute the Berlin Cell. The Berlin Cell of the world was responsible for the shootings now in her hands. We have the power to deal with them accordingly. For this act of mass violence, I shall pay with their lives an eye for an eye, a tooth for tooth, and a life for a life. Or three lives for a life. Thank you. Expand occupational forces. In order to ensure peace and stability in Europe and Germany, it is necessary for us to expand the Red Army occupational forces in Germany. If we do not do so, who knows what violent acts of werewolf could commit against people of Europe? Which is very true as well. Very, very true. Ah, oh, at least we got Moscow back. So good. And we're doing this just in case the game wants us to uh, do anything here. Roving extrajudicial squads. March dot as location. Thousand year occupation. Roving extrajudicial squads. Now, while we do not know the names of many fascist criminals or soldiers, do many have seen the fascist enemy face to face? Many have seen it take their loved ones, friends, homes, and their lives taken away from them. We should leave it to them to find and destroy any fascists who may have escaped our presence. East Prussia to Germany, huh? The Republic of Poland is now a score of the Polish Republic. Huh? Now let me reintegrate this. During the 40s, Mother Russia was butchered by the invading Germans, resulting in the utter catastrophe or collapse of stability, allowing the birth of many splinter sits all across the former Soviet Union. But now we finally reorganize and once again ready for the reunification struggle. Our troops shall liberate every inch of occupied Russia and bring a new age of security and recovery. That would be good to do. What was this one? If you're worried about this one, please go right ahead. Well, I guess I can read this one, I guess. Um, all the of Germans living in Königsberg shall be wiped from the face of Earth. It'll make way for a modern city that'll be a Russian pearl in the Baltic, and we shall rename the city in honor of Alexander Nevsky. Huh. Get stability. Less division speed. The local population goes way down, though. Nev Nevsky could add. Demolishing the Volkshalle. The Volkshalle, a symbol of the fascist regime which once ruled Germany in Hitler's time, it was intended to be a monument to the grim successes of the dictatorship, but now that Germany has been liberated. It's a symbol which only emboldens those who wish to bring terror to Europe once more. If, we just, if destroying this ugly building would demoralize Hitler, and so be it, we're more than willing to do such a thing in the name of freedom. Nice. Third times found by me. Oh yeah, in the Swiss. Who's like who in the Swiss? Leon Nicole and uh, yeah, People's Republic of Spain. Some Julio Alvarez del Valle. Oh. I don't want that towel. There you can have it. You know what? Oh, do you have this as a core? No, I'm calling state. Just core it anyways. Because you can, it makes it look better. You don't deal with stuff like that. There you go. It's disgusting. We could just trade some of the stuff away so it looks a little better. It would be nice. But, whatever. So, deduction. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I wish Luxembourg didn't exist either. But, Dominique Urbani. Revive the palace of the Soviets. The original palace of the Soviets plan was discarded, but perhaps it should be looked into once more. Not as a government office, but rather as a monument to victory over fascism. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know if you can see what was going on in there, but palace of Moscow. We cannot forget the sacrifices made by our people throughout the Great Patriotic War and the genocides inflicted upon us by the fascist enemy. The struggle shall be remembered the heart of the motherland, Moscow. Or the best place to put the palace of Soviets is the Markstadt, formerly Germania. The Germans must be reminded of their horrors of the Hitler regime and, it is who, and who it is that liberated them from such things. Uh, Markstadt? I think I would prefer a palace of Moscow. 
Um, maybe we're about up because we're ahead. Or we do this one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of prefer the palace in Moscow right now. Maybe not in the future, but for now, yeah. I'll do this one as well. I mean, this would be nice. Revealing Vestipol would be good. And St. Petersburg and Moscow, but... Moscow, the heart of the motherland, was mercilessly raped by the German beast. It is time we nurse our capital back to life. Um, a new Kremlin will be constructed as well as the destruction of all Nazi memorabilia. Or return to Moscow here. The Palace of Soviets, at last, one of the greatest architectural marvels of our nation's history has been completed. Towering 400 meters over the war ravaged Moscow at skyline, the long delayed Palace of the Soviets began its construction in the 30s, but work was halted by the Nazi invasion and became impossible after the fall of Moscow. With the capital liberated and the Union restored, the decision was made to continue reconstruction on the long delayed medical project. And after a surprisingly fast period of construction, the building is complete. The Supreme Soviet will soon begin holding sessions within its colossal 100 meter tall Grand Hall. Alexander watches over his batter but restores the Union. Slava. He was captured by Mark Labour. Oh, look at that. The soldiers of the fascist enemy cannot be forgiven of their crimes, but we cannot simply execute them all. They would be far more useful in the construction of the palace of the Soviets. Nice. Looking kind of thick. Reorganize the National China. You chose, you definitely chose the wrong group here. Dai Li, you bunch of fascists. The practical society of three principles of the people. Practical. That's why I don't care about technology. Just keep going. How much people do we get? Less than one a day. That sucks. Who's president right now? Who the heck are you, Dewey? Uh, UK is led by... Not Mosley. Guy. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. A palace in Moscow. Thousand year occupation? Zukov Marx dot... Ah. We can't do that one. Um, Zukov Marx dot Memorial Complex. Okay, so we did the right one. Maybe. Zukov cannot be killed. Oh, an ancient uproar. He has died. Oh! Oh, crap. That wouldn't be good. Thousand Year Occupation. How did we lose that one? Oh, is that a chance that he, he could die? We cannot allow Germany to exist as an independent state. We must ensure that Germans shall never again bother the people of Europe after two destructive wars in the past 40 years. Germany must remain occupied for the good of the world. Holy crap. Immediate investigation. Blood leads to blood. Suspects among us. Blame the Germans. The horrors among us. Oh, it was, oh, it was potentially Sarah. Oh, foreign loyal secretary. Oh, interesting. Or was it Pavel Batab? I love how this looks. I love it. Can't you just unite in real life, man? How's Israel doing? How how are my Jews doing? All right. Oh, we can't do this one too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, memorial. And oh, stopped. I just definitely do want some though, because it makes more sense for us to get this one. Like I said, I want to do this stuff too, but whatever. If we don't get to it, we don't get to it. You know, we're putting a lot of roads really fast though. Biological weapons. Yes. Yes. Thousand year occupation, my friends. Uh, Zukov still alive. And honestly, this is going to be a really strong Cold War. With us being very strong and having a massive amount of Europe under us. It's not even an Iron Curtain anymore. It's just a massive amount of Europe. Like, if we could just quickly take take out the French. We could get all the way down here. Quickly take out the Italian block. All of continental Europe will mostly be ours, basically. That sucks for the Toronto Accord. They're completely surrounded and cut off by the sea, except for, like, down here. Still, it's not bad, but still. But the Thousand Year... Fuck. You patient. Is that it? There you go. Give me that one too. Ah, uh, you know what's good. Just give us PP. That might be it, maybe? Uh, can't do that either. So, I'm not seeing any other event here, so that must be it. Um, yeah. I enjoyed it. This was, this was actually a really fun episode. I really, really, really enjoyed it. No just point, there's nothing else, but you know what? I'm glad there's a chance that Zukov can live, because previously, before this whole rush update came out for two, two bucks, sorry. Thousand Week Reich, um, it wasn't there. It didn't exist, and Zukov would always die. So, hey, he's got a chance to survive, which is great to know. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a fat like. If you haven't checked out my Discord server yet, eh, consider leaving a like and seeing what my Discord server is about. 
Yeah, let me know how your day's doing. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.